The purpose of this video is to try and go through the Sire Vice application. The breeding season is upon us and we are trying to help our Dairy Hair Plus members to complete the task of selecting bulls and using the mating program. So this is the home page that you log in from your laptop to PC that we're all familiar with. You can now click on applications and click on Sire Advice. Perhaps we should make note that you would review your dairy herd co-op performance report or your milk recording reports to try and identify breeding goals before you regain sire advice. As you can see, we are now presented with the sire advice homepage. Here to your right hand side, you will see the number of bulls you should be trying to use in comparison to your herd size. The program of all, overall. The program overall helps you try and identify a team of bulls from your breeding objectives. It will generate the best matings to maximize genetic gain. It will not uh, include any matings that are possibly inbred. And then finally, one of the great benefits is the selections can be sent to your AI handheld technician's device or be, can be printed on your HairPlus breeding charts. I will now go through the Sire Advice Plus option. This is a very comprehensive package. Click on the green button here to begin. As you can see, the first stage here is the female selector screen. Here you can identify females that possibly you may not wish to breed from, potentially lay calvers. They may be selected for B, for example. Perhaps we may not like to uh, breed from our lower index EBI females, so again the question can be asked where to identify these for beef and I will just demonstrate for the purposes of this video just to mark them for culling as well. For those of you who may be selective mating, there is a selective mating option. You may be asked to put a certain bull on a certain female that you have in your herd. And again, save changes as you go through. And finally, finally, you can here now also identify females for crossbreeding. The Sire Advice program will, in the background, match any bull to maximize hydrosis in the matings. As you can see, the table is now pre-populated with, with the females I have identified for culling, for beef mating, and for selective mating, and some crossbreeding, and for crossbreeding, for the purposes of this demonstration. I'll now click next. Here, for those of you who have selected the selective mating option, you are asked to enter in a bull. This will complete a standard inbreeding check. And if you are happy, please select Save Changes and proceed to the next stage. The following is the very comprehensive bull selector screen options. Here, you can select by breed. You can select by AI company, prove source, select pedigree, non-pedigree. One of the very useful items here is you can select bulls that are in advance of your EBI averages. Please note that the figure in the brackets is your average herd EBI. This also applies to the, to the other sub-indexes for milk and fertility, for example. So you're trying to select bulls in advance your herd averages, possibly your breeding goals that you've already identified from reviewing your milk recording reports or your co-op performance report. There is also confirmation traits available where bulls can be selected as well. This should make the difficult task of, of bulls easier. With the more criteria you, you feed in, this will automatically narrow the list of bulls. Another great feature on the bull selector tool is the compare bulls option. Here you can compare three bulls at once prior to selection. Click on the magnifying glass and here the further details of the bull can be examined, the bull's own EBI and it can be compared here to your own herd averages. So to make sure all the traits are within your breeding goal objectives. So I can also remove a bull here if I so wish, if I'm not happy. 
before I select any bull. Again, if you are selecting a bull, hit select bull. And again, you are asked to select a bull for to be used on cows, for heifers. And as you have predetermined at the female selector screen, as you identify cows for crossbreeding, here you are asked to enter the bull in for to be used on the crossbred, from the crossbred females. These bulls should be identified to maximize hydrosis. So arising from my choices I have selected on my bull selector screen, I can now ensure again in the manly interval stage that my bull team is what I want it to be. I can compare my bull team averages against my herd averages. I can just carry out a final check on bulls I've selected to be used on cows, on heifers, and a crossbred bull to be used on the females on the females I identified at the female selector stage. Again, I can ensure the overall reliability of the team is in excess of 90%. And here, the AI companies will have also developed bull teams that I can review and potentially use as well. I can also at this stage add in an additional bull. For example, I may have straws of an AI bull left over from the season of last year. And here I can enter in an additional bull if I so wish. If I am now happy, I can now proceed to the straw allocation stage. This will automatically default to dividing the bulls evenly across the herd, which is what we recommend. But for users who are more familiar with using straws, I can alternate here and click on the number of straws. As you can see, this is physically the number of straws to be used in herds. Please make note of the overall requirement of ensuring one straw per female. Again, the same situation is, is, is the same for heifers. The bulls are divided equally across the herd, and again, I can alternate between dividing but the straws via percentage usage or number of straws. As I had identified females for to be used as for crossbreeding, here my crossbred bull is identified, and I can proceed to the final stages. The SAR Vice program is now generating the matings, maxima maximizing genetic gain, matching the bull that's highest in milk to the cow that's lowest in milk, fertility is the next traits, it's Lexon trying to breed a more balanced female. As you can see, the cows I identified at the beginning for culling that I did not wish to use for dairy breeding are there. The female I selected for selected mating and this choice is is there, available on screen to review. The female I had decided to, for beef mating, for beef straws, is already pre-populated. And there is my crossbred female and my crossbred bull, all identified in the results page. If I am now happy from reviewing these, I can now proceed and I hit accept. Before I would decide to send to handheld or print on my Her Plus breeding chart, I can now view PDF. This will allow me to see the strength of the bull team. The SAR Vice PDF report allows me to review my overall bull selected, the predicted averages of my calves to be born in 2021. Again, I can go through the report. The bulls here will be identified. The ones I females identified for culling, as I explained earlier. The pedigree status of the sire, for example, will display. The selective mating option will display. The beef mating option will display. And my selections for heifers will also display. If I am now happy, after reviewing my sire advice report, I can now go ahead and send these selections to my technician's handheld device or to my Hair Plus screen chart. Sending to handheld message will appear on top of the screen. Please allow this a few moments to save and send. Thank you.